Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Huck. Today I am doing an unhaul. So I think this is my third unhaul this year, um, and I think this will probably be my last unhaul for this year, although I already have an unhaul planned for 2020 because I have all of the books that I read in 2019 that I uh, didn't like or DNF'd that I'm going to be unhauling, but I'm going to save those until the end of the year. So the ones that I'm unhauling today are books that I have either read and decided I'm never going to reread them, I don't want them for whatever reason, or I actually have a few books books here that I have not read and I've decided that I'm just not interested in them anymore for whatever re reason I'm not going to read them. Uh, so I'm going to let them go. This year I think I have been trying to clear out my shelves a little bit. Mostly I've been trying to get rid of the books that I have read and I realize that I'm never going to reread them or I don't like them anymore or whatever it is like I was saying. Um, but I also recently was looking at my TBR shelf and realized that there were a lot of books on there that I have no interest in reading anymore or I don't know why I got them or how I got them, some of them. Um, and they're just like stressing me out to have them there because I feel like I'm gonna have to read them eventually but I don't want to. So I'm finally letting go of a couple of those uh, TBR books that I haven't read but I don't think I'm ever going to and they were stressing me out. So hopefully this will just make my TBR shelf a little more fun for me, a little less stressful. All right, so I'm going to start with the books that I have already read. I actually only have a few of these um, and then we're gonna get into the ones that were on my TBR shelf. So the first one that I have have is The Lost Years of Merlin by T.A. Barham. This is the first book in his Merlin series. I don't know, is this series called The Lost Years of Merlin? Something like that. I read this a long time ago and then I reread it, I think, more recently and I just didn't enjoy it as much. I do like um, another series by T.A. Barron, which is his Great Tree of Avalon trilogy, which is technically like the tail end of this series. It's kind of like a spin-off kind of connected. It, anyways, I'm not going to be reading this series. Next I have Wild Seed by Octavia E. Butler. This is a prequel to her Pattern Master series. Sometimes it's called the first book but the trilogy was already written and then she wrote a prequel to it and now it's sometimes called the first book. Um, but I read this a couple of years ago and I didn't really like it. I had very mixed feelings about it. This is about um, this like alien parasite that has come to earth and inhabits people's bodies and gives them special powers. There's this guy who has, um, who is in essentially immortal and he has been for thousands of years breeding humans together to uh, create stronger powers. I was very conflicted about how I felt about it. I did not enjoy it though. Um, not because I think it's bad, it just was like, I, I don't know how to explain this this book or this series. Um, I recently read the second book, which is technically the first one in the original trilogy, which is Mind of My Mind, and I had a very similar experience of not enjoying it. Um, and I'm not going to be continuing the series, so I decided I'm going to be unhauling them. So I'm unhauling Wild Seed right now, and then Mind of My Mind will be in my next unhaul that is going to be in 2020 of the books I didn't like from 2019 if that makes sense. Then I have Red Rising by Pierce Brown. This is the first book in, I think it's called the Red Rising series or trilogy or I don't know how many books are in it. I read this a long time ago. Um, I read this, um, yeah, maybe like four years ago or five years ago, something like that. It's a very popular series here, I feel like on booktube. It is science fiction. It's about this like world where um, people are separated into classes by color. There are a few reasons I didn't like it. I couldn't get into the characters. I didn't care about the world or the plot, but really the thing that I just can't stand about this series is I cannot stand his writing in this. Um, and I like, I always want to like these books. I've seen a lot of interviews with Pierce Brown and he seems like a really nice, cool, interesting person but I can't stand his writing. It just feels very pretentious. And I recently talked about this book in a video that was, I think like five series that I'm not going to be finishing or five series that I'm DNFing. And this was one of those series and doing that video got me thinking, oh, if I'm like officially deciding that I'm DNFing this series, I'm not gonna be finishing it. 
I don't need to hang on to this first book. I should make space on my shelves. So getting rid of this one also. Then I have The Foxhole Court by Nora Stakovic. Um, this is the first book in the All for the Game trilogy, I think, um, that follows a sports team that plays this uh, made up game called Exe, which is sort of like lacrosse, but not really. So it's following this Exe team and it's kind of like this found family band of misfits who come together and become this incredible Exe team. Uh, but then also one of them has this like dark past with mafia ties that they have to deal with. I really didn't enjoy this. I didn't like the characters or care about them or their like friendships or relationships. I just found this really boring and difficult to get through. I read it because a lot of people recommended it if you love The Raven Cycle that you would love this one also. I can see in like some elements why people would say it's similar to The Raven Cycle, but I feel like in more ways it's very very different from The Raven Cycle. Um, and some of the things that I love most about The Raven Cycle are not in this. Although granted I only read the first book and maybe it like becomes more apparent later on. I don't know, but I don't really want to read it. Also, I don't like mafia stuff as a trope in books, uh, so that turned me off as well. And the last book of ones that I have read is going to kind of transition into the unread books because this is part of a series that I have um, a couple of the books from this series and I just decided I'm not gonna be continuing it. So the one that I have read is Speaker for the Dead by Orson Scott Card. This is the second book in the Ender's Game series um, and it's science fiction. It follows this boy Ender who is a genius. Actually at this point he's an adult um, but in the first book he is a child. And this series deals a lot with like how humanity uh, handles dealing with alien races um, and whether we try to destroy them or can coexist with them. I really liked the first book in this series which was Ender's Game and so I am keeping that one um, but I really didn't like the second one. It was just really boring um, and I don't intend to continue reading this series. Also I know that Orson Scott Card is just like not a great person and I don't want to like promote his books on my channel so I'm not really interested in reading the rest of this series and then I also don't want to be like reading them and promoting them on my channel anymore. I did buy all of the books that I have from him used um, so I'm just going to be donating them back. Um, so the one that I have read as I said is Speaker for the Dead. Uh, then I also have three more books because I thought I was going to be reading this whole series. Uh, so I have Xenocide, and I don't know what order these go in, but Shadow Puppets and Children of the Mind. So these three I have not read and that's going to transition us into the TBR shelf uh, books, the ones that I haven't read yet, but I decided I'm not going to be reading. So the next book they have, I have actually two from the same author, but they're from different series. Uh, the first one is Firebird by Mercedes Lackey. This is a retelling of the Firebird uh, myth I guess? Is it like from Russian folklore I think? Um, and this is one that I was interested in for a while and I just think I've lost interest in it over time. And then the other book by her that I have is uh, The Serpent's Shadow by Mercedes Lackey and this one I'm not really sure why I even got it uh, because it doesn't sound like something I would really like. I think it's it's like a, it's a fantasy set in like Edwardian London and that just doesn't sound interesting to me. So it's sort of like a historical fantasy. Uh, and I like some historical fantasy, but I'm very particular about it. And I tend to like more like medieval historical fantasy. Edwardian London is like not a time period that I'm like interested in. Next, I have a whole trilogy, which usually I don't buy like entire series at a time but these I got used and they were like a dollar each and I just thought they looked interesting and I've never seen them anywhere else so I decided to get all three of them and now I think I don't think I'm gonna read them um, anyways so these are wild magic magic wars oh no like that's the third one so the first one is wild magic the second one is wildfire and the third one is magic wars um and these are by joe clayton and really the reason i got these is because i love the cover art so that's a lot of why i got it um and then recently i did try reading the first like chapter or two of the first book and i just did not like it i just couldn't get into it i was so bored and i didn't like the writing um so i just decided i'm not going to be reading this series and like i only got 
like one or two chapters in so I didn't even count it as a DNF because I feel like I didn't get far enough into it to count as a DNF. It was more like just like a taste test and I was like nope don't like it. Um, so I'm gonna be getting rid of this series although I'm kind of sad to see these covers go because I really do love this weird cover art. Next I have like three YA dystopians. Uh, so some of these are ones that are more well loved than others but I just I don't think I'm going to be reading them. I don't really know what they're about so much. I mostly got them um, a couple of years ago when I was first starting on booktube um, or first discovering it and was just kind of like oh these are really well-known books or hyped books and so I'm gonna try them and now I feel like I know my reading taste a little bit better and I don't think that these are going to go with my reading taste. I do like dystopian fiction and speculative fiction um, but I'm very picky about it and I just don't think that these ones are going to fit with what I know about my taste in reading now that I am more familiar with my own reading taste. Anyways, so the first one that I have is Uglies by Scott Westerfeld. Um, I also have Legend by Marie Lu. And the last one I have is Shatter Me by Tahana Mafi. And I said, I, these are ones that I don't even really know what they're about. I just know I've heard about them a lot. Um, so I'm not really describing them. Uh, but I know that especially Shatter Me is very well loved on booktube. Um, but I just don't think I am going to be wanting to read these. Next I have two Robin Hood themed books because there was also a time a couple of years ago where I really wanted books about Robin Hood um, and I got like a whole bunch of them. I still have a few Robin Hood books on my shelves um, but these two I just decided I'm not going to be reading. So the first one is Robin Hood edited by Maurice Lapman and the other one that I have is a retelling which is Scarlet by A.C. Gogan. Um, and so this is a retelling of Robin Hood but it follows Will Scarlet who is actually a girl in this one. Um, and it just doesn't sound as interesting to me as it used to but also I have since since buying this I have heard some just like negative reviews of it just that people really don't like it and what I don't know from what I've heard about it I'm just not as excited about it and I don't think I'm gonna like it either so I'm gonna let this one go I have some other Robin Hood themed books on my shelves that I need to get to eventually um, and there are still some other Robin Hood books that I haven't even bought yet but are on my list because I do like Robin Hood stories but I just think I'm not going to be reading these two. And the last book that I have is Hex by Thomas Old Huvelt. And this is like a horror thriller kind of book about a witch that is tied to a town um, and how people who live in that town, once you like come to that town, you can't leave because there is this curse that's binding the witch but also binds the town and she has like her eyes and her mouth sewn shut sounds very creepy and like my plan was to read it around Halloween even though I'm not really a seasonal reader I was still thinking like you know I'll read like I never really read horror or thrillers and I was like you know one time I'll read a horror slash thriller around Halloween two Halloweens have now passed and it has not happened so I don't feel like it's going to I think it's just a genre that doesn't call out to me. Um, but yeah, so I think I'm gonna be letting this one go. I'm actually probably going to try, uh, I'm gonna give this to my sister and see if she's interested in it because she loves like horror movies and thriller movies and things like that. Um, and I think she reads some books that are also like horror thriller. So that is it for today. Thank you all for watching and until next time, bye.